Hey, it's Ashley. So this is like my first official YouTube clip on giving some tools and advice. And I felt today we should work on overcoming bad body image. I know I didn't stress this in the sharing of my story. I don't even know if I mentioned it in the explanation of my YouTube channel, but I mean, this is huge because in my eating disorder, the driving force to a lot of my behaviors was definitely negative body image. Just a little snapshot. I would look in the mirror and I would literally tell myself, looking in the mirror, you are effing ugly. Like, I, I, I was so mean to myself. I was so mean to myself. I would skip school. I would skip work if I didn't feel pretty. Um, if I broke out, I just felt so ugly. And I felt if I would get a cold sore, I was like beyond myself. Like anxiety attack. Um, obviously, I was body checking all the time, always looking at all my flaws. I mean, it was just like really bad, you guys, so bad. Like my identity, my identity, who I was is what I looked like. I mean, it was crazy consuming, wowza. And I can confidently tell you, obviously I have no makeup on right now. And I didn't even, I haven't washed my hair, I swear, for seven days. Like, literally. Um, and I'm like, whatever, I don't even care because you wanna know what my identity is not in what I look like. It is not, and it took me so long. Oh, it took me a long time to get here. And so let me save you some time and just give you some of my nuggets, okay? So the very first thing, you have to speak life over yourself. You have to speak life, okay? You cannot speak negatively over yourself. You cannot say, I hate how I look. I hate my arms. I hate my butt. I hate my thighs. No more. No more. You cannot speak that. Even if you're feeling that way, do not speak it, okay? You look in the mirror, okay? You look in the mirror and you just start speaking life. Maybe you're not really liking what you're seeing. Let's say you're not liking your arms. Speak life over your arms. Literally look in the mirror and be like, I love my arms. Even if you're not feeling it, okay? Even if you're not feeling it, feelings lie. That's another tip. Feelings lie, okay? So you look in the mirror and you speak life. I love my arms, okay? Let's say you just broke out. Let's say you got a cold sore, whatever. I love my lips. I love my face. If you're starting to get wrinkles, I love the under part of my eyes, whatever that, I, I don't even know what you'd say, but just, you're getting the point, right? And this is so important. And even scripture, like the Bible, even like backs this up. There is a really amazing proverb. It's, it's Proverbs 18, 21. It says, words kill, words give life. They're either poison or their fruit you choose and I mean this can go with all aspects of life this doesn't even have to go with body image but obviously this video is specifically in body image but like you either speak death over yourself or you speak life you either speak poison or you speak fruit and you choose like you get to choose what you pick but I promise you you have to speak you got to speak life over yourself. I remember weeping, feeling so ugly, but I look in the mirror and I would just speak life over me and speak compliments. I did five outward compliments and then I did five inward compliments because again, I didn't want my identity to be like solely focused on the outward appearance. I had to build my outward appearance up though. So I would say I love my eyes, or I love my hair, whatever it was. So five compliments like outward and then five compliments inward and that really helped boost my confidence so that first one speaking life the second one think big picture okay think big picture 
this was huge revelation for me. I was in treatment and I just felt the Lord say, Ashley, when you die, like when you get to heaven, will I tell you, good and wonderful servant, my faithful one, you kept a six pack your whole life or you stayed this weight your whole life or you had no wrinkles or you were the most beautiful person or guys checked you out all the time way to go like no like the lord does not care about those things heaven does not care about those things like when we die and we're all gonna die okay we're all gonna pass away we don't take anything earthly with us to heaven. Nothing, okay? Nothing. So that can even help if like we're stuck in like, you know, wanting like a certain car or a house or whatever. Like we don't take any of that with us. We don't take any degrees with us like in school. We don't take any job promotions. I mean, this is universal, right? But back to body image. When we go to heaven, we don't take this with us, okay? Like we take our heart and our soul, our spirit, spirit we take that with us and that is what the lord is going to compliment you on right he's going to be like wow look at you look at your heart look how you loved look how you were kind that is what he's going to see and 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 what we should take to heaven with us and our time on earth should be invested within the heart, within the soul. That is eternity, okay? So big picture. And you know what, you guys? You could be the most amazing, beautiful person ever, but if you don't have a good heart, if you don't care, if, oh, if you're not kind, no one is gonna care how beautiful you are. They're not gonna care because that is not what draws people to you right? I mean, you like people because of their hearts and their kindness, not for what they look like. And the same is going to hold true for you then, right? Like people are not going to like you because of what you look like. They're going to like you for what you carry and your heart and your kindness and how they make you feel, okay? So that second point is think big picture. Like think big picture. What really, really matters and then the third one, this is more practical. Um, sometimes when we get hit with things, right? When we get hit with bad body image or depression or anxiety or whatever it is, when we're in that moment, it's sometimes really hard to get out of it and it's really hard to think positive, right? So I like to have tangible stuff on hand. So I made this little guy um, and I actually have them for all different things, but this one's strictly on, on like body image. And inside are all these little note cards that um, I have written to myself and so I can look at these when I am getting triggered or feeling hurt or whatnot um, or just feeling like yeah I'm just feeling ugly or whatever I just go to here and I look through these and there's just truths um, someone wrote me one had someone actually wrote me one so that's kind of you know nice to have if you have friends have them write you something too um, I had some like scriptures on envy, like there's my Bible verses back there, because sometimes I just struggle with that. Struggle with jealousy, then I have my scriptures, or some truth statements. Struggling with comparing, um, Bible verses, truth statements. So we can go more in depth with all this if you guys want. I don't know how deep you guys want me to go, so this is kind of a surface level, you know, YouTube clip, but we can go as deep as you want. But I just want to give you guys those, those nuggets. Um, and so there you go. One, speak life. Two, think big picture, okay? We're all going to get old. Beauty fades. Beauty fades. But the woman who fears the Lord, she will be praised. That's another scripture. Like, and it's just going a little bit in depth with that. Like, beauty fades. We all get old. We're all going to get wrinkles. It's just going to just, that's just how it's going to be, right? Um, but the woman who fears the Lord, the woman who respects the Lord, and we can talk more about the fear of the Lord in other clips, but the person who, who is respectful and honoring and kind, that is where your praise will come from, not from what you look like. And then that third idea, so those tangible um, things that you can write down, like these note cards. This is when I struggle with being obsessed. 
Um, what is this one? Ooh, we're urge to work out. I used to be an over-exerciser. I don't exercise much at, at all anymore, but if I'm feeling triggered, I have some true statements behind this. And so, um, yes, I hope that's hopeful, helpful. And um, please subscribe. That would be awesome. Please like the video if you like it. Uh, share it with whoever you want and also comment. So let me know what you're thinking and where you want me to go with some future videos. All right, bye.